Number 34. Open the Build a Molecule Simulation, which is this link right here, this one right here. I put a link in the description below if you don't have it up. The simulation is the one that you see on the right hand side here. And we need to select the Larger Molecules tab. So over here, um, there's Make Molecules, there's Collect Multiple, and then there's Larger Molecules. We want to keep it on the Larger Molecules tab, so that brings you to this. And then it says, select the appropriate atoms kit to build a molecule with two carbons and six hydrogen atoms. Okie dokie. Um, so I'm just going to write this down here. We just need two carbons, to, so two C's and six hydrogens. That's it. So over here, I see that my first um, kit has three carbons here and it has hydrogen, so I could use kit number one. But if you click to the right hand side and you um, look at your different kits here, let me see if I can see this. This one has carbon and hydrogen, so that's good. But then this one also has carbon and hydrogen. But I think some of them, oh, so it doesn't really matter whichever kit you want. Oh, see, see, kit number five doesn't have the carbon. So you just got to pick a, a kit that has carbon and hydrogen. So I'm just going to keep it as kit number one. Now, it says here, it says we need to drag atoms into the space above the kit to make a molecule. And a name will appear when you have made an actual molecule that exists, even if it's not the one that you want. You could use the scissor tool to separate atoms if you would like to change the connections. And click on... 3D to see the molecule and look at both the space filling and ball and stick possibilities. So we have A and B. So they just want you to draw the structural formula of the molecule and state its name. So we are looking for, I'll put A and B over here. So we're just looking for a compound that has two carbons and six hydrogens. So let's see, I'm going to put the two carbons up here. One, two. And then let's see, six hydrogen. So maybe I'll put it over here. One, two, are there links that are going here? Oh, you gotta put, okay, I see. So you have to actually link them together. So there's one over there. Maybe this carbon is bound over here. And I still don't see a name. So um, these don't exist. But hopefully, let's see. Okay, so I put my two carbons. Ah, here we go. So I put my two carbons together and my six hydrogens around, and it gave me a name. So this one would be looking like this. It would be a C that is has two of them, right? There's two carbons, and then there's six hydrogens. They just say draw the structural formula of the molecule and state its name. So the name is ethane. They gave you the name there. So it's C2H6-ethane. And let's see, if I click the 3D, let's see, can I click the 3D? Let's see. Ooh, it says loading. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty cool. So this is the space filling. As you can see, the carbons are very, very close together, and the hydrogens are super close with the carbons. They're kind of like melting into each other. And now the ball and stick model will show you the actual um, bonds between them. And they're all single bonds. Don't necessarily worry about um, single bonds and double bonds for now. But just know that these are all single bonds. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, what is this button? This says, ah, this is if you wanted to kind of get rid of them. Okay. So... That would be the first one. Yeah, so we just had to build a model with two carbons and six hydrogen atoms. So we did it. Ethane, and the structural formula is C2, H6. They were all bound like this. I'll show it to you. There was just a carbon with a carbon, and then three hydrogens that were single bound to both carbons, just like that. Okay. So that, we did everything possible for A. Now, for B, it says, can you arrange these atoms in any way to make a different compound? So I'm assuming that they're just talking about the two carbons and 
six hydrogens. So I'm going to try. Let's see. Maybe if I put the two hydrogens together. Oh, uh-oh. This already means that this is a compound that we know of, right? And let's see. Can I put more hydrogens together? Oh, no. That, they don't want to be together. Do you see that? They kind of like repel each other, right? So I can't put two hydrogens together because they will form their own compound. So maybe if I put uh, the two carbons together and then with the hydrogens, let's see if I could maybe put more hydrogen. Oh, that, you see how that one doesn't want to go with this carbon? So it, would, it wants to go with the other carbon. So literally with two carbons and six hydrogens, there's no other way. There is no other way to make a compound with just two carbons and six hydrogens. Now, if they wanted to add in different elements, like as far as oxygens, then I can do that. Watch what happens. If I cut one of the C and H ones, let's see. Come on. There we go. Oop. I went right back. Hello, I'm scissoring. Okay, there we go. So, what? Ha look what happens. I'm going to put a oxygen here, and then I'm going to put the hydrogen here. And now we formed another compound. So, we can make a new compound, but we just have to add an, an oxygen to it. So, if I have 2C, if I have two carbons, one oxygen, one O, and six hydrogen, then you can make ethanol. But there's no other way to make a different compound with just two carbons and six hydrogens. You will always get ethane. You would have to add different compounds to get it. All right? So that is the answer to B. This one was easy, right? This one's a cool simulation. I think you have to download Java to access the simulation, but you guys can play around with that. The link will be down below, and you guys can kind of figure out how to get the simulation. But thank you for tuning in. I hope this helped you. Let me know in the comments. If, if it did help, click the like button and press the subscribe button. You'll get tons more questions coming your way for the OpenStax textbooks. I'll see you guys all in number 35. Have an awesome day.